breaking on News 6 at noon. A fire heavily damages a, a mosque in Fort Pierce, once attended by the Pulse nightclub shooter. Good afternoon, I'm Bridget Ellison. Thanks for being with us. I'm Justin Warmoth. The fire is now being investigated as a possible arson. Kirsten O'Connor joins us live in studio now. And Kirsten, this is all happening on the three-month mark of the mass shooting. To the date, yes, Justin. It is still not clear, though, if there's any connection to Omar Mateen, the Pulse nightclub shooter who used to worship at this mosque. The sheriff's office in St. Lucie County isn't commenting on a motive just yet, but they do say there is clear evidence that shows the fire was set intentionally. And now for the first time, we are seeing the damage done in the daylight to this mosque. No one was inside the Islamic Center of Fort Pierce when the fire started overnight, but deputies say video that they're still waiting to release shows a person approaching the mosque in Fort Pierce, then a flash, then that person running away. It comes three months after the terror in Orlando when Mateen killed 49 people inside the Pulse nightclub and hours after 9-11 memorials wrapped up in cities across the country. We all know the implications of the uh, date and the time of year that this is the 9-11 anniversary. Is that related? I would not want to speculate, but certainly that is in the back of our mind. Several agencies, including the FBI, are investigating. Deputies in St. Lucie County say they're taking the video to a lab and are planning to release it to help identify the person seen running from that fire. But we are waiting on more updates from them. We just found out there was a Facebook Live going on, so we're going to have more updates in our later newscast. Justin Bridget, back to you. Kirsten, thanks so much.